Play the mayor of Quartzsite, who's been told by armed police he's not the mayor anymore. I mean, who needs elections? The police now run the town. Well, I guess the three, they fired all the others, too, and have declared themselves God. Uh, this has become a national news story. And even I was watching uh, Fox News Business last night, uh, Napolitano show, and they were calling it martial law. And that's what it is. So the, so the uh, mayor, he's only popping in for five minutes, so I'll get to Josh and Adrian and James and Brad uh, and Bill. By the way, World Net Daily is reporting that now people that criticize the court site um, government, which is the police chief, a couple city council people, They've gotten rid of the rest of the police, put them on house arrest. I've actually been watching, uh, like it's an evil soap opera, the videos of this, um, that they shoot themselves and release, the city council does, uh, where they've put the police on house arrest, except with the police chief, and I guess he has two minions. 80-plus percent of the force has been told they're locked down at home for no reason. Of course, the police chief can't say that. This is the essence of tyranny. It's a bluff. Uh, they arrest anyone uh, at city council meetings that signs up to speak, who criticizes them, even politely. Uh, now they've just banned anyone in the government building, so they have the, the meetings privately, but videotape them. They have declared martial law, uh, and the state police are investigating, but the governor's done nothing. And now they've arrested a pastor for t t filming on a sidewalk. They say that's not allowed, and they're now saying anyone that's criticized them is going to have their guns turned in to the police chief. Uh, and that's uh, escalation, Arizona, firearms confiscated, judge orders stunning action after councilman called turd. Another guy, they say, had anger in his eyes, so his guns are, have got to be turned in, and, and, and the pastor's been arrested. And this is a microcosm of the New World Order. Foreign banks, no authority, totally criminal, caught criminal, Senate committee says they're criminal, and they run the, 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 the Pentagon, and the Pentagon is openly trying to take over society. Now, I take you to Ed Foster, who is the mayor, but uh, he's been told he's fired and the police are there and they lock the doors and they have the guns and he hasn't escalated it. He just you know, says, well, I'm still the mayor. And they say, no, you're not. And there's magic paychecks disappearing into the stratosphere. They've been trying to find out for a year where, the, where those go. Uh, and uh, Boss Hogg uh, doesn't have anything on this town. So uh, joining us with the pastor being arrested, uh, he must have been evil. Uh, and uh, the gun confiscations now. Um, boy, I tell you, Ed, I mean, this is this is really getting crazy, Mayor. Okay. First, first off, I got to correct that. That wasn't the pastor that got arrested. It was one of his leading church members. Uh, he didn't get arrested. He got chased to the church. He took sanctuary in the church. Okay, well, I'm sorry and, for getting it wrong. The, uh, you, you had talked to my the, producer, and that's what I've right. been told. Okay, so tell well, us exactly what's happened. interceded, though with a very angry chief of police, or he would have been arrested. But he was taking photographs of one of their secret meetings on the sidewalk. It was on, standing on the public side. In fact, the attorney general's office, when we complained about the open meeting law violation, he suggested we get evidence for him or he couldn't do anything. So this guy was taking the attorney general's advice, trying to gather some uh, evidence. Mayor, Mayor, Mayor. I wanted to give you the floor here because I know you're busy and we just got five minutes with you. Then I'm going to all these current and former military dealing with the same issue. But 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 let's just reset here. Recap what's happened in court site. And then if the attorney general needs evidence, they have released the videos of meetings where they admit that people aren't allowed inside the public yes, council absolutely. meetings. So so they're, they're very proud of themselves. Absolutely. The, the state of Arizona is doing nothing. My message to the world today is, well, of course, they burn Phoenix fiddles, and that's what's going on. <laughs> okay, so recap. Tell us the names. Tell us about the gun confiscation orders. Uh, actually, that was obscene with this judge. by Mr. Winslow's own testimony. He's an unstable PTSD veteran who's himself getting guns, and he threat feels threatened, and he don't know what he's going to do, and yet... Mr. Ross' guns are confiscated, not Mr. Mr. Winslow is the one who should have been placed under under sanction, and his weapons confiscated by his own testimony in court. You know, but this is not the way things work in court side. You know, upside down, backwards in every aspect of life in court side. 
and we're going to take it back. We're going to make court statements. Yes, sir, now. Mayor. Uh, so, 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 lay out the gun confiscation orders. Lay out the person being chased they tried to arrest for daring to even videotape the, the city council building. Lay out where this is going, and are they going to declare the police chief supreme emperor of courtside? Well, that's already done, sir. I mean, when you uh, have a state of a normal state of emergency, the, the chief constitutional officer available, which would have been either me or the vice mayor or the succeeding council member, should have been placed in charge. The normal thing that the emergency does, it removes the chain of command between the chief executive and the, and the law enforcement. But in this case, they've removed me completely from the mix and the town manager and the chief of police, two of the people that by all accounts are guilty of crime, criminal act, federal criminal acts under Title IX, uh, Title IX uh, Section 241 and 242, conspiracy, and a deprivation of rights under color of law. Those are two federal crimes that, by police testimony, they are guilty of. But those same policemen are the ones that are in, under house arrest. Now, Mayor, hold on. Give the proper title. You mean you're saying the emperor is guilty of something? The emperor is sovereign and is not under your laws, as Dick Cheney said five years ago. He's not even in the executive. He's his own branch of government. So this is the Fuhrer precept. So you're claiming... Uh, that that he's a pretender to the throne. How dare you, Mayor elected, say that he's not the emperor of courtside? Now, continuing, <laughs> uh, let's get into this gun confiscation here and where this insanity is going. Well, I'll tell you what. There was a hearing today, but uh, right now I'm in Phoenix trying to get somebody in Phoenix to listen. But like I said, Phoenix is fiddling when courtside's burning, and and I can't get address to anybody in Phoenix. I've tried the U.S. Attorney's office. I. I stood in the lobby and declared that there's an emergency in Quartzsite, and they, their response was, well, send us the written form and we'll write you back. You know, well, people are going to get hurt in Quartzsite. Somebody needs to step in. Mayor, you know why this is being done. Uh, did, the, did the city manager ever tell you about the comprehensive annual financial reports? Never. You see, you're told I, I about no, a budget. No that, financials at all. Yeah, yeah. I'm... I'm re I'm absolutely barred. When I got elected, I asked to see some reports. These same councilmen who have actually given the chief his 007 license out there uh, in sworn testimony. Uh, one, of the, one of the sworn officers signed a statement that a councilman had told him they had ordered the chief, in quotation marks, go get them, meaning the political opponents in town. So, so right, it's but, like a ball we have running court site, not, yeah. not anything. And you've not been allowed to see the financials since you've been in there. Now, let me oh. explain what's happening. This is all a hat trick, like a magician. They took a Chicago mob model that they used to rob the city of Chicago from the 20s, 30s, and 40s, Chicago 13, 13. This is on record. And in the 50s, the feds got all the states and counties to adopt a comprehensive annual financial report system. Now... That's the real set of books. Everybody is then, including the kept councils, like kept juries and grand juries, is only told about the budget. And, and then the, the, the real corporate officer is the city or, or county manager. They hold all the financials, and then you're only told about what's on the budget, not about the investments. And because you found out about the phantom checks being paid to who you can't find out and all this weirdness, the state isn't going to help you because all the municipalities are doing this and the state is doing this, so they've got to stick together. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead, uh, Mayor. Yeah, I, 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 you know what? I, I don't generally subscribe to these conspiracy theories, but now I'm living one myself. It's becoming more of a reality every day. You know? Uh, the, the, the police officers are convinced right now that the evidence they've turned over to EPS headquarters is being covered up. You know, that their their chief is not going to get in any trouble. Well, no, this is the way you do things in the new America. Uh, but, but, sir, comprehensive annual financial reports, I've made films on it. This is public information hidden in plain view, the double set of books. It's just that the mafia taught the U.S. government and then local governments, uh, basically the system. So, so look into that. Uh, but, see, they'll have those in corporate bond filings. You'll even be able to find that. They can make the city numbers f secret from you through their uh, corruption. They can't keep... Actually, I was trained. I went to a training class on government accounting and, and auditing. 
Yes, sir. And in in that room, there was a large collection of elected officials. It was like a first-time event. And there were a lot of people in that room. And some of them, you know, I was an engineer, and I ran some pretty big budgets on projects. And I know a little bit about accounting, but there were actual corporate accountants in this room. And by the time we got done, they were screaming because government accounting and rules are so obscene and so obtuse that even people with an accounting background cannot chase the money in, in government accounting methods. You know, it's just built in. They, that's the way they account. You know, so yeah, uh, they, uh, Mayor, they, speak up for us a little bit, please, sir. Okay, well, I, I say when... The government accounting and auditing methods are so obtuse that people with an accounting background were screaming when I went through this training. There is no way that they can, they make it so that an average person can understand the books. They can confuse it, conceal it, hide it, shuffle it around. Yes, sir. The books that they run and they can say they have a state audit, it means nothing. There's exactly. No so thing. so you do know about it. Good. But, but, the, but the big enchilada is hit, hidden in plain view. It's the annual... Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, or, or CAFRS. Now, 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 let me stop you because you're a busy man and we appreciate your time. And, and you just said people are going to get hurt. You're saying in court to get this gun confiscation ruling that, that one of the council members said, I'm scared, I'm PTSD, veteran, I'm buying guns. And that's the sign right there of a problem. And so now off of calling someone uh, a, a piece of poop, a, a turd. I'm sorry to use that term on the radio, folks, but come on, this is news. Uh, it is a family show, but this is a news program. Got to tell you what was said. Uh, and we're that goody two shoes, Mayor. We don't use, even use words like that normally. Uh, and on top of it, uh, Mayor, uh, they're talking about other folks that had a glint of anger in their eyes, and now you're not allowed to videotape even the council building from the outside. Fill us in on why you're saying people are going to get hurt uh, if the emperor is challenged. Well, you know, this this chief of police, you know, by every law enforcement agency I've talked to, they they would agree with my characterization that he's acting irrational. They've never heard of this. They, that's the constant comment I've heard. They've never heard of anything like this. Yet he is allowed to stand, as you say, as the emperor of Fort Sight right now. And people are, are some people have left town. Especially, you know, some of the political supporters of me have left town because they're actually scared to be in town right now. You know, this, the, you go around, we go around in groups to make sure that we're not exposing ourselves alone. Or we're carrying audio and video recording equipment with us at all times so that, you know, we're, we're prepared to at least record our demise, you know. <laughs> well, you know what Thomas Jefferson said, Mayor? He said that, and, and George Washington repeated similar lines, that when the government fears the people, there is liberty. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. And we got a big fat T in court sight. So uh, World Net Daily is reporting multiple people ordered to turn their guns in to the police chief. And I'm sorry, the emperor of court sight. Uh, and you're talking about these hearings. What happened at these hearings? Well, uh, I was arraigned yesterday. Uh, Mr. Odom, the former first mayor of the town, the person responsible for organizing the town, he was to appear, but his attorneys appeared for him. And, and actually, he's, his girlfriend was scared, and they left town. So uh, the uh, Jade was in court yesterday. Uh, Jennifer Harris or Jones, she got married. Jennifer Jones was in court with me. Uh, we were all being arraigned on various charges or, or hearings on various charges that this chief of police has manufactured. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> forgot. He's not only fired almost all the cops and put them on house arrest. I saw that on Fox News. He's charging you with stuff. Oh, it gets better. Oh, yeah, he's charged. You know, and that's just proof that when these officers said that the councilman told them the chief has been ordered to go get them, that really means that he's good at his job. He go get, he's been out there getting us, you know. So so what <laughs> evil have you committed, Mayor? <laughs> I'm nothing. I'm I'll tell you what, all I ever did in my life was be a hard-working... No, I know, but what are the charges executive. that the emperor has leveled oh, against well, you? 